My people wonder shall never end. They said Auntie Blow Blow have done the unthinkable. Anyway, some people will not see it as unthinkable because her attitude ever since she enters the palace have been showing her mission, you know. And in as much as this sounds somehow, uh, it is expected. Yes, so if all the information we have been hearing about her and her activities in that palace are true, because if she can go as far as collecting Kabiesi's protective charm, knowing that Kabiesi will be vulnerable to attack and might even face detriment without that protective charm, it simply means that her missions are clear. Very clear. <laughs> Only recently we heard that she told Kabiesi to give her a portion in the land where she will build her own palace and uh, uh, her own uh, female palace, you know. And Kabiesi said no, that that is not going to happen. That this palace did not belong to him alone. Beside, he should, she should go and stay where he made provision for her. That she is married to him, not the other way around. At some point, they said, well, it looks as if it's a very big deal. They said she uh, invited, she involved some of the elders. But as God may have it, they said the elders blasted her. Telling her or asking her, how do you intend to uh, divide our kingdom? That when we met a king, we met only Kabi, see, the oba of this place, and not a woman. And if you want to be a woman king, you can go to another land and achieve that. But in this place, that is not going to happen because this place have its rules and regulation. And as it is right now, Kabiesi is the only recognized king. Any other king, both male or female, is no longer is not recognized. And when she find out that even some of the elders that she called, you know, to someone, maybe she must have bribed them or not. They are speaking against her. She she did not talk about that one again. Now, all her efforts is okay. That was when they said she started uh, seeking for peace talk. And when the peace talk looks uh, as if it is not working. Now she is applying force. We heard that she and uh, Antibi, that they stopped with Nomi's load coming into the palace. Now the next one that she did that met Kabiesi's father to say, no, this is getting out of hand. It is high time we tackle it once and for all. They said she mounted a signpost, writing it her royal majesty, Aderunke. Uh, at the Minuyu dynasty. <laughs> hey, my people. <laughs> hey. Allegedly, allegedly, I will always remind you that these are all alleged information because I do not live in the palace. But before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Uni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to share my video. And always remember that they are all alleged information, okay? Because I do not live in the palace. I wasn't there. Always bear that in mind. So, when she mounted the signpost, claiming that uh, she is now a king on her own, <laughs> that she is the female version of the king. <laughs> so, the people were worried, though. That was when they know that, uh, what people have been saying, that her mission in the palace is to dethrone Kabiesi and become the uh, female king. Is the truth. Yes, so. And only then they said, Kabiesi's father decided to take action. That if this lady is sent uh, into his son's life to destroy him, that they are going to make sure that they did not allow that to happen. So for that reason, they said, Kabiesi's father summoned uh, her family members to let them know what their daughter have done. Because standing that uh, signpost, <laughs> it means a whole lot though a whole lot even though we heard that KBC gave orders that they should brought it they should bring it down immediately without wasting time they shouldn't even allow two eyes to see it before they will bring it down that was how they said they brought it down but it simply means something something great because i believe that this kind of a decision she did not make it alone she did not take certain decision alone a lot of people are solidly behind her telling her that nothing will happen and if KBSC did not do anything about it, that is if it is true, if it is true, <laughs> if this information is true, and KBSC allow it to lie low, hey, one day, one day, she will order some people to come and carry KBSC on the head, 
and uh, keep him out of the palace. She will take over. Yes, yeah, so that is if this one is true and Kabiesi did not do anything about it. But right now they said Kabiesi's father have decided to summon her people to come and let them know what their daughter have done. But my question is this. What are they going to do? When they summon them, telling them that their daughter uh, collected Kabiesi's uh, protective charm, did they do anything? They were busy protecting her, defending her, saying that she's just a woman. You know women, you know this, that. Huh? My people. And if Kabiesi did not de uh, 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 divorce her then, <laughs> what makes us think that she is going to divorce her now? I don't know. Unless that information is not true. But if it is true, Kabiesi needs to do something. He needs to do something, you know, because this is a clear indication that these people came prepared. Mm -hmm. They came prepared. And they know they fear face. They know they fear anybody. Because <laughs> for them to go as far as this, they must have seated in a cycle to conclude on this before sending this woman to go and do it. And if you remember, if you remember, they said her family is one of the ruling class, the ruling family in the Leife kingdom, who have been the ones on the throne until Kabiesi have to fight and fight and fight. And because the gods are with him, he was able to take the throne from them. Yes, so, and to tell you that they are not happy with it and they have not completely hands off the throne, they sent their daughter. And they trusted their daughter. They know that their daughter is a, a lioness. A lioness who can go as far as doing anything to achieve her aim. Because that marriage is not built on love. The marriage, we heard that it was an agreement between the two families. So if it is true, it simply means that she is just there trying to achieve her mission. And Kabiese and his people should not relent though. They should not go and relax and say he's a woman or he's just a medicine. It is not a mere coincidence. So if it is true, if it is true, mm -hmm, if it is true, KBSC and his people should take serious action against these people. So that, so that, so that the story that touches the heart will not come. Uh -huh. Guys, what do you think? What do you think? Tell us what you think about this uh, signpost bearing... His Haroya, is it Haroya Majesty? Be Haroya Highness. <laughs> now, wow, now, wow. All I know is that whom God have blessed, no man can cause. You see, uh, the gods have blessed Kabiesi and placed him on that seat. No man, no woman, no family can bring him down. He will rule till when the gods said it is over, when he will go and join his ancestors. And it is not happening anytime soon. He is going to grow old on that throne with Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikao. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And like I will always remind you, these are all alleged information, okay? Bye for now. Love you guys.